So this is the video number two of the Arduino development, development environment and the simulator, UAV simulator here. Now let's try to, to make a mission to test autopilot. So what I did in the code is set up the, 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 the mission here and you can see waypoint one, waypoint two, the latitude, longitude and the altitude and waypoint 3 and waypoint 4. The home waypoint is set up when you turn on the, the autopilot will read the current position and this is going to be home. So let's try to take off with one hand so it's going to be a little bit challenging. So the nice of this autopilot or well, this environment is that you can, you can uh, simulate everything even the multiplexer you can see if the the PW, PWM are working well in your autopilot you can test everything like the real thing so right now I'm I took off so you can see here the the virtual horizon and also you can see in real time let me activate it the position of the airplane and the the heading to look more real so let's go now to manual mode I will switch from manual mode to autopilot so that's it autopilot so now the autopilot will try to go to the waypoint number one so Let me let me show you Google Maps so you can have a feedback, a better feedback. Let me increase the zoom. So the waypoint number one is defined here, somewhere here. I can see it yet. Here. So the idea is go to to this point, and then when it reaches, it will go to the waypoint number two. So here, Arduino is telling me the distance to the next waypoint is 500 meters more or less we are in mission number one and this is the altitude, the desired altitude and the course and the desired course so as soon as it gets close to the to the waypoint it will change to waypoint two and you can see how it's making all the maneuvers so no hands, no anything so it's not it's not a so we are reaching waypoint 30 meters that's it so we are switching to waypoint 2 we are making a left turn so you can see here in the simulation how it's turning you can also see the the artificial horizon and now it switches to waypoint 2 the distance is 550 meters more or less so you can see we are going straight forward to waypoint number 2 which is located here so 200 meters, 150, 100 meters and that's it, switching to waypoint number 3. You also have a feedback here of the jaw in real time. So now it will try to correct, you see. Now we are going to waypoint number three. Everything looks fine. You can see the airport here. Everything. So it's very nice. So I will continue in a video number three. If not, it's gonna be cut. So